We all know, and we're seeing this, it's right in our freaking face, the narrative change. We knew it was coming, and it's right here, right now. So right out of the mouth of the Federal Reserve Vice Chair, you know, Lael Brainerd, I have to come up with a name for her, it, uh, I don't know, give me some suggestions, Lael Brainerd. We need a nickname. Anyway, this is what she said. With inflation moderating. It's moderating now. So let's see. Hmm. We were peaking, but then we're not peaking. We were peaking again, but no. And then for some miracle, we were peaking yet again, but now we're kind of moderating. How about no, no, no. We're not moderating in any way, shape, or form. As a matter of fact, inflation has nowhere to go but higher. And I want to read something to you in just a little bit. I think is important here. So, oh yeah, so let's go back to it, Leo Brainerd. Please, what does that sound like to you? We need a good nickname. Okay. Um, so with inflation moderating, and it's not, uh, soon it will be appropriate for the Federal Reserve to slow its pace of rate hikes. People, look, they've been setting the groundwork here. You and I knew it. We foretold this. We discussed it right freaking here. Narrative change, then they're going to start easing back. December, look, here's the situation. December, we're getting a 50 basis point hike. I, I would be stunned, shocked, and will roll myself all over the floor, and I'll get it on, on, on video so you can see me do this if we don't get a 50 basis point hike. ECB is going to do the same thing. Then we're going to get a pause. I want to, like I said, talk about a few things we see that are going to happen. So, narrative change right out of the mouth of the Fed vice chair. Inflation is moderating. It's moderating. Do you, know, do you know how you can be sure that it's moderating? Whatever that even means. Define moderating, okay? We know it's happening because she's told you. And whatever they say is always right. Uh, am I wrong on that? Anyway, so that's, that's one piece of information here. Here's another piece of information we got from the World Bank. We already know what the IMF said this morning. IMF, world economy is in deep trouble, okay? And this deep trouble is going to get much, much worse because central banks are going to continue to fulfill their end game, and they're going to continue to inflate regardless of what they tell you. You know that's true. We'll cover more of that in a minute. So here, from the World Bank, and I, I want to hear from you on this. Are you ready? Get ready to comment. So this is the World Bank. Global debt levels rise substantially in 21 and they continue to rise even faster in 22 so let's see uh how many of you are surprised can i see your shock face really oh no you mean global debt surging out of control and there's no end in sight oh no uh duh um it, it's an incredible thing here now here's another headline i want you to pay attention to the global housing market is set for a brutal downturn. Look, everything is in free fall around us. But uh, if you were to pay attention to the mainstream propaganda of any, pick a politician, pick a freaking Federal Reserve president or the freaking vice chair or the chairperson himself, they're going to tell you how great everything is because we're doing fantastic. Our economy is doing strong. It's very strong. You know that because mummified Frankenstein presidents tell you that, and it must be true because the president of the United States, none of them would never lie to you, right? You understand what's going on, people? Do you really understand what's going on? So before I read something to you, let's just look over here at the market. Ten-year yield, slightly higher. Dollar, relative strength, I wouldn't say substantially, but moderately higher. We like that word now, right? Lael, Lael Raynard, Lael Raynard. I can't think of a name for this thing. I need some help with this. Okay. Um, what did that do? Stock market got hit. Nothing major, hit nonetheless. Crude oil got hit pretty good today, down like 4%. Cryptocurrencies moderating <laughs> under some pressure here. Very volatile. Gold and silver putting on some nice gains. That's where we stand, people. Here's the title. Make no mistake, central banks will continue to inflate faster. By me. All right. All right, here, here, here we go. To date, are you ready for this? 
Every manner of distraction and deception mechanism is being used against an unsuspecting public which is being crushed under the weight of surging inflation. And the worst is yet to come. Collectively, collectively, people, because uh, you remember Yellowstone? He said, went out of his way, central banks don't coordinate, but they coordinate. Okay. Central banks, which are working together, have been using the mainstream propaganda ministries to sell an epic lie to the people of the world. You know what this lie is, but bear with me. That lie is this. By raising rates, central banks will control or slow the pace of inflation. All right. Let me be clear on this if you haven't heard this before. I think you have. Okay. In no way is central banks raising or raise even meant to slow or control inflation. Raising rates is meant to slow demand, period. Okay. But that's what's being pushed down your throat. Lovely. If, in fact, the central bank was serious about wanting to control inflation, all it would have to do, you know what I'm going to tell you here, is contract the money supply by raising the capital reserve requirements of financial in institutions. Okay. Now, doing this alone, let, let me outline this for you real quick. This one thing, if, for example, the Federal Reserve were to right now Tell the, the, the big institutions, hey, you guys got to hold capital reserves above zero. Because right now it's zero. This would contract the money supply. We would get an immediate effect on inflation. But no, this will never happen. This is not in this. I'm just kind of ad-libbing here. It will never happen because central banks are determined to continue to inflate. Just keep that in mind here as I, as I move forward. Okay. So anyway, uh, by doing this alone would have an immediate effect on rapidly rising inflation. The fact of the matter is this. Central banks never had any intention to slow the pace of rising inflation. Instead, they will continue to inflate. Collectively today, central banks are hyperinflating the global money supply. And this mechanism is being has been going on unabated for years. Okay, we're seeing the side effect of it now. What people are not being told is the issue of surging inflation is a direct result of central banks inflating the global money supply, effectively diluting the purchasing power of their respective currencies. What have I told you since time immemorial? Since time immemorial, I have outlined for you how central banks are in a race to the bottom. They're deliberately killing their currencies. They're sucking the purchasing power out of it. And, and with that, destroying the global economy, destroying the global financial system, and taking the global population with them. People, this is worse than a science fiction movie. I'm serious, but this is real. This is what's really going on here. Anyway, uh, not a single, listen to this, and I brought this up before, not a single mainstream media outlet has outlined what I just told you to date, and that alone should tell you something. Just to push this point home, let's talk about this, okay? The Federal Reserve, along with other world central banks, has been raising rates for many months. Yet inflation continues to rise. But no, it's moderating. Now, I mean, I don't know what that means. Define moderating. Does that mean it's leveling off? Uh, you know, you see how we see what they do, these freaks over here at the Federal Reserve. They use these fancy terms like appropriate. It's appropriate. It's moderating. It's uh, whatever it is. They, they float these words out. They really have no meaning, okay? They, they leave you and me to sit here to decide what it means because all they're doing is screwing us over to the highest possible order. That's not in here. This is what I want you to pay attention to. This is what is about to happen. Three things. First, central banks will continue to balloon the money supply, but faster. This will dilute the purchasing power of their relative currencies and inflation will continue to rise. This is a no-brainer. This is happening now. It's going to continue to happen. I've told you since I don't know how long. Central banks need to stabilize their currencies. They're not going to do that because they need to inflate the money supply to fulfill their end game, to be the lenders and buyers of last resort, to eliminate an entire class of people by bringing the world economy and financial system to its knees. You understand? I think you do. Secondly, central banks will continue to raise rates, although at a slower pace, and sometimes early, sometime early next year, they will pause. Well, we heard this today, and I wrote this before Brainerd came out, Leo, whatever that freaking thing is over there, saying that, okay, you know, soon it's going to be time to, for the Fed to slow their pace of uh, rate hikes. Thirdly, central banks working together will vastly, 
vastly, mark my words on this, increase their repo programs. This means that financial institutions will pass vast amounts of cash between each other overnight in an effort to trick the system into thinking it's more liquid than it actually is. And this will be vastly increased because it, it, they have to do that. Now, collectively, these three mechanisms that I just covered for you, as outlined above, okay, if successful, will, will allow central banks to here's the word again, vastly increase global debt and as a side effect, push global stock markets higher. As a further effect, this mechanism will continue to crush the global economy and create more people who are dependent on the system. In case you don't know, that's the goal here, to get more people dependent on the system.